It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the New Orleans Saints and the Atlanta Falcons, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 25. Near feeds from where the Georgia Dome stood and the Falcons played for a quarter century. We're looking at the team so Rashid Shaheed. He stopped on the return of the 27th. So the Saints offense taking over for the first time here. Leading them out in year 11. He's played 15 or more games every season in the league. A real Iron Man, Derek Carr. Well, it was another very statistically productive season down in New Orleans for Derek Carr a season ago. Another 25 touchdowns, almost 4,000 yards. And what I love about this guy is he is remarkably durable. He's played 15 plus games, all 10 seasons that he's been a starter in this league. That's called the ability of durability to be there for you guys. Now, the next step in New Orleans is to take this franchise to the playoffs. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. And not what they wanted to see, just one play in. Their tight end shaking up as we get a timeout. Training staff out to work on him. Reset ball at the 37. Throwing on first down. It's Carr. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And they'll make the stop up at the 46 yard line. These intermediate games, that's the wheelhouse for these two to connect on. Start the series off well. It sure keeps the defense on its toes in case they try to load up. He just simply covered the receivers. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 46. To the left sideline. Complete. He goes as a gain of 19 yards. And the Saints are going to have a first down. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. They're set up at the 35 now. This is Alvin Kamara with it. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal game, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Second down now, seven to go. From the 31. Long game with the catch. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. say a dog is a man's best friend a tight end that moves the chains on third down that's a QB's best friend 
A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Working inside the red zone. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Well, I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or just had a surprise break in concentration. So unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Tight end in motion left. Give on second to Camaro. And he's brought down for a loss. There is no thought needed from him. He has been doing this so long, getting back to college and high school. Those instincts, and they come at you with a capital I. Identify that run, fire downhill. And get home in the backfield before that play could get started. Car throwing on third. The Mets got it. And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints finish up an excellent opening series. Alvin Kamara, the touchdown. What an outstanding opening series, partner. They just wore down that defense as they marched their way to the end zone. Yeah, it took a whole bunch of that opening script to find a touchdown, but it showed just how well designed that script was. It was the right sequence of plays to keep that ball moving and find the end zone, getting your offense established in its top gear right here early on. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. decade it started in this league and Kirk Cousins put up some prolific numbers the thing that's eluded him despite all the stats are those playoff opportunities and those marquee postseason victories I think Kirk his family and everybody rooting for him hopes the final chapters of his career will contain some of those they'll get this drive started first and ten looking to throw Cousins You know, quarterback's going to count on 99 of 100 times completing that short, simple route to a tight end. But even the shortest and simplest of throws will find a drop at some point, too. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. They'll run it here with Bijan Robinson. And he'll push forward for a small gain to the 31. Give him three that time. That's going to bring up third and seven. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. That's brought in by Mooney. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a putt. You got it online, you feel good about it, it's going in the hole, but you never want to leave it short. So with the Falcons set to punt on fourth, on comes Bradley Pinion. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. It's a 54-yard punt that time. And the Saints will get set to take over. Offense 
ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Car here from the gun. Into the hands of Olave. And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond, it looks like, the 30. Kate, if you and I took a whirlwind tour and watched young quarterbacks, the hardest route to complete is this one. A lot of them can throw go routes and slants and drags and in cuts, but throwing that out route takes some time, takes some precision, and a whole bunch of trust between QB and receiver. Counter give to Camara. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. These are the kind of runs, Kate, that just soften up the defense. Keep working on them. Keep working on them. And eventually, you're going to break one of those counters for even bigger yardage. Third and a lone yard coming up. Working out of the gun. It's called. Complete beyond the marker. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Year after year, the best offenses are multifaceted. It's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on the defense. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. On the shotgun, Carr. That's into the hands of catch up to him but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down that chunk worth a nice 21 yards and that's good for a new orleans first down they're set up at the 35 now going on first down it's called gets this one to shaheen and he's going to be brought down at the 23 yard line Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. To hit a curl route of that length, it takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. Kamara now on first and 10. And he gets this down to the 22 before being stopped. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. Sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Groupie to try the point after. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. On 
on is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Here's Avery Williams on the return. This return gets to the 30 before he stopped. Onto the field comes the Atlanta offense for the second time. And they haven't gotten very far into their opening script yet, have they? Just a three and out to begin this game. First and ten now from the 30. They fake the handoff. Now Cousins. On the sideline, the kicks brings it in. And he'll be out of bounds right along the 40. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And the Falcons will have a first. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. First and 10, a runner Robinson. Broke from the tackle. The flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. But partner, they say there's holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. And holding penalty is going to make first down twice as tough. They're 20 from the marker to start things out. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Looking to throw. Cousins. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw, but he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. This is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alter that throw. Here he is on third and long. He lobs it up. Left sideline looking for a jump play. But they had the look, so he didn't shot away from it, but couldn't connect. And now they're stuck facing fourth down. First time this game they've looked to him. And that brings up fourth and long. So many coaches love third downs, and they practice them so much, Kate. Why? Because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game or already out of hand, Coaches know, got to execute and convert on these third downs. Same as a touchback here. Fair catch made at the 20. The Saints still running back Alvin Kamara, trotting back out to the field. And among all the team's pass catchers, partner, he has been one of the brightest spots in this opening half. I mean, I think we agree he's outshined several of their receivers and tight ends that we're used to seeing be the guys to get those targets. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. A tight end in motion now. Throwing on first down. It's Carr. The red side cut by Olave. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And the Saints are going to have a first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. From the shotgun, Carr. It's a quick throw and it's caught on the slant. And he's tackled after getting this to the opposing 46. It's a gain of 12 there. And the Saints are gonna have a first down. New set of downs for him from the 46. Car now on first and 10. Short pass caught by his tight end. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. You'll often hear it 
said, in my life experience, it's true. The NFL is a game of matchups, so much more than any level. And these tight ends, we see it time and again, are such a matchup nightmare down the field. They're set up at the 35 now. Carr with it on first. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to be out of bounds. Looks like a yard or two short of the 25. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Running back, motioning right. Going again, it's Carr. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on, it's incomplete. Had that one, but just couldn't see it through. So now they have third and short. You know, the goal on a lot of these short throws is to simply let the receiver create some yards after the catch, that yak. I think he was thinking about the yak before he actually secured the catch. Looking to throw on third and two. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Look up contested catch in the football dictionary, and you'll see that. I mean, I can't critique the defense there. They're in the hip pocket of that tight end. But these contested catches, these tight ends that can separate with their hands, utilize their body, even when you're covered, you're not. Going again, it's Carr. He's got it near the 10. And they get this down to the 10-yard line before going down. It's a real solid pickup, 12 yards, and it rewards him with a first and goal. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can come in there and there's nothing this defense can do. They'll run with Camara. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. Give him six on the pickup, and that is how our first quarter will end. So that's one quarter gone in a battle of NFC South rivals. It's a two-score game early. We'll make our return to Mercedes-Benz Stadium after this. We're back for the start of the second. Saints have the ball and a chance at six. Throwing his call. And he will score to New Orleans touchdown. The Saints take a 20-zip lead. You always tell me, Brock, it is a whole different world here, running rounds, working in confined spaces, instead of having that whole field to spread out a defense. Oh, spot on, Caden. Some players, that's the world they thrive in, finding windows where windows shouldn't exist, and then being ready for the throw to arrive. It happens so fast. Trusting your quarterback to make the right read and get it to you. Groupie to try the point after. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. On is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Returning it from the four. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Here's the Falcon offense headed out. And it's far from the first time we're seeing this unit head out, Brock. But what we haven't seen so far in this opening half, well, we haven't seen much in terms of yardage. No, it's like they've written a few lyrics, but nowhere close to a song yet. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. They fake the handoff, now Cousins. That was almost a nice chunk play before he was able to recover. 
and provide the kit that dislodges the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays deep. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. From the gun, it's Robinson. And he found some running room for a nice game. Seven yards on the carry. Now they've got third and three. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. Now Cousins on third and short. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And the Falcons will have a first. Well, they got him down before he could do any more damage in terms of yards. And that's no easy job, mind you, tackling a big tight end. But the main damage had already been done. He kept this drive going by getting beyond the line of game. Hey, I know nobody's perfect, and all you have to do is listen to me and how many words I screw up. <laughs> but you certainly expect those throws of that length to be 100%. They've got to be borderline automatic in this offense. On second and 10, Cousins again. Rifles it, and it's caught. The Saints add a fifth defensive back here. Third down coming up. Now Cousins again. And it's incomplete, and that's going to bring up fourth down. You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? We chose the wrong play off that call sheet that time. He'll punch it away again. Bradley Pinion headed back out. Back deep for the Saints is Rashid Shaheed. And this is headed to the sideline. And it'll bounce out of the seven. Wow, great kick. The Saints and Derek Carr about ready to get back to work. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Pistol snap to Carr. Fires down the middle, and it is caught. And he will score to the Orleans touchdown. The Saints running away so far. We've got a 27-zip game. Chris Olave with the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. And that, Brock, I know you're keeping track, but just in case our audience is at his fourth first half passing touchdown. At the pace he's on, this would be a new record if he has a second half to match this one. Groupie to try the point after. Splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. On is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Has this at the six. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Onto the field runs the Atlanta offense. 
And this drive, they need to come up with some type of answer because, uh, well, Brock, we can almost hear those engines starting to gear up. They, they might have a boat race coming. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody in the building can feel it. This has been so momentous one way. And as a competitor, you have got to stop that slide. They're out and set. First and ten. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Hey, listen, drops happen in football. It is a part of the game, even for the very best. Nothing more to do about it now than shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be coming right back your way. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Out of the gun, Cousins. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. That was a heck of a break. Knocks the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to, once they get one hand on the ball, have a pretty good beat on you and can get two hands on it the next time. Throwing on third, Cousins. Into the hands of Pitts. And he's stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but cross the line there. That earns the holding penalty. The Saints add a fifth defensive back here. Third down coming up. To the air, Cousins. That's incomplete. Trying to set up the screen there. I'll tell you this, Kate. That's that's we gotta be on the same page with one another and get both ends of the play right to execute both the protection and ultimately completing that ball. They certainly want that play call back. They'll punch it away again. Bradley Pinion headed back out. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. And he'll take in the fair catch just above the 35. The Saints and Derek Carr about ready to get back to work. And last drive, he reached one of those numbers that everyone looks at as a benchmark after the season ends, Brock. Quite the year that he's put together, finding the end zone. The Saints enjoying some good field position to start this drive off. First and ten coming up. They're going to start on the ground with Camaro. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Pressure coming for Carr. This is complete to Olave. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Working out of the gun. It's Carr. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he's out of bounds after getting this one to the opposing 45-yard line. Kid, I promise you, if you and I got to travel the country and watch young quarterbacks, even really good high school quarterbacks, out routes are the hardest to complete. Slants, goes, fades, all that stuff comes somewhat naturally. But really trusting yourself to throw that out route, that comes with time and experience. And he's able to get this down to the 36. That's a pickup of nine. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. Pistol snap to Carr. That throw comes up short. Need a little more muscle on that one. Not on the same page with his tight end. So it's second down coming up. That play right there, Kate, that just goes to show you, you can't take any completion for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game plan. Back to the air, Carr. 
He finds Johnson. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. Just about every defensive coordinator worth his salt says two things in every production meeting. Number one, well, we got to stop the run. And number two, we got to take away the tight end. Well, good luck doing that. Defending a big guy who can move like that, it's a lot easier to talk about than to go out and execute. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. From the red zone now. Catch made. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. A tight end in motion now. Here's a give inside to Camaro. And he is in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. The Saints blowing them out now. 34 zip. Alvin Camaro, the touchdown. Groupie to try the point after. That one right. And they'll continue adding to their lead. On is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Here's a return from the seven. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. Here's the Falcon offense headed out. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the punter, Brock. They're hopefully going to give him some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. Here's the throw on the out route. Complete. And he's going to get this up close to the 40 before going out. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Shotgun snap. A give to Robinson. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Pick up of two here. And the Falcons will have a first. There wasn't a lot there for him, but he did what he needed to do. Go get that first down. Picked up the short game. Didn't risk a big loss. Looking for a bigger lane elsewhere. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Going to the ground again on first. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. He made him six on the play, bringing up second and four. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, that's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. On second down, Robinson escapes a defender. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. First down, and they go right back to him. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Give him five on that carry. Bring it up second and five. 
Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby, but you know what? Talk to managers, and they will tell you small ball can win, too. Singles and doubles, you add them up, you could win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length, it may not be a home run, it may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. Staying with Robinson, and he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. You can keep your job in the NFL as a D tackle if you eat up space. You really can. But you make that bag when you can defeat blocks, penetrate, and create runs for losses as a defensive tackle. A less than ideal third and eight here. It looks like the defense jumps just before the snap there. So he jumped too early, and that's going to cost him five yards. Runner pass, which way they want to go to convert on third. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. Complete beyond the marker. And he's down inside the red zone before hitting the deck. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. Working inside the red zone. That's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. Couldn't find Kyle Pitts on that throw. And now they face second down. That just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted, even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. Got a man over the middle, complete. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. All plays on the table here for third and three. Now Cousins again. Complete beyond the marker. And they'll get this down nearly to the end zone. Instead, stopped at the two. It's a real solid pickup, 12 yards, and it rewards him with a first and goal. particular spot right there you know you get in this red zone Kate you want the ball in the hands of the guys you do trust the most to score in a lot of cases well you trust your quarterback and all he did was add to that trust young Hui Ku on for the point after that one splits the uprights and they're a point closer now on the scoreboard at the six and he gets across the 30 before he's brought down the Saints and Derek Carr about ready to get back to work Got first down from the 31. From the shotgun, Carr connects with Johnson. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37.
Second and three now. Didn't get that one off in time. This is going to be a delayed game. Must have lost sight of the play clock there, Brock, because the quarterback could have snapped it in time, but instead, they take the penalty. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Working out of the gun. It's calm. And that's incomplete, and he's happy to have that one fall compared to, well, the alternative. Looked like it was going to be picked there. Hey, uh, Mr. Quarterback down there, uh, that's a throw that's got to go somewhere else. Double coverage was waiting for it. QB super fortunate that ball wasn't picked. And incompletion, still pretty good for the defense, too. Car throwing on third. Here's a throw on the out route. Complete. Keeps it moving. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. I think one of my favorite adjectives, I don't know why, it just sounds good off the lips, is shred. Shredding paper. Shredding the slopes. Or do shredding a defense just like that. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. So that's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. A new set of downs awaits them. Here's first and ten. Going again. It's Carr. Taken in by Shaheen. And he drives this forward to the six. Oh, man, these are the kind of plays you can't wait to get on film and watch the next day. Look at the fellow pass catchers. Look at the guys getting out in front, helping on that screen pass. Get your player in space, your buddies do the rest around you, and a big play follows. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. They run it from the gun with Camara. And he barrels across for the touchdown. The Saints get more points to end a lopsided first half. Alvin Camara, the touchdown. He would not be denied that close to the end zone, Brock. I think it might have taken five or six guys tackling him to keep him from diving across the line for six. Certainly a second effort touchdown, no question. The backs who become fan favorites, we've seen it through the generations, and they set the curve for their peers, are the ones who just fight through that stop. It will not be a denied of a touchdown. Groupie to try the point after. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. On is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. The Falcons offense returning to the field a final time before the half. And with field position and the clock against them, probably not going to see anything of substance here before halftime. They've got first down here, but just 18 seconds to work with. Looks like they'll play it safe with a run to the outside. And he's brought down by a collective effort there. Only one yard on the carry. So at halftime, the Saints fighting to an advantage on the road. 
Now we'll send you south to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report with Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. We just watched a solid first half from the veteran running back, Alvin Kamara. He had two touchdowns on the ground and added another on the receiving end for good measure. He was awesome. The highlights from the first half, all one-sided. This one got out of hand early, and now you have to wonder how these teams will approach this second half, because this one's already close to being in the bag if it's not already. On is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Has this at the six. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Falcons and running back B. John Robinson getting set to begin another drive. And his performance has ailed against what has been a very stout defensive front. This hasn't been a contest to stack up there among his better showings, partner. They've made it real difficult to find any holes to hit, and there's been absolutely no space for him to work with. They're out and set, first and ten. Drive begins with a run, it's Robinson. And they'll surrender just a lone yard, that brings up second down. Okay, this is why you gotta be careful to just run it always on first down, you gotta break your tendencies. The casual fan, well that casual fan knew what was coming, but more importantly, this defensive front did too. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Here's a counter give to Robinson. And he maybe got back to the line there, but no further. Call it no gain on the play, and that brings up third and nine. That counter could never get started. Good chance someone on that line telegraphed that play because the defense was all over it, fortunate just to make it back to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third, Cousins. Fires over the middle, caught. Kate, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s. First his man on the drag route, run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. First down throw for Cousins. Pitts brings it in. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. It's a gain of 12 there. And the Falcons will have a first. I can't tell you how nice it is to have a big, trustworthy tight end in the passing game. Such great size to have. And he forces those defenses to find a way to try to match up when they can't. First and ten, Aaron Robinson. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. This game has evolved so much over the years, but there's just certain times, there's certain moments, some flashes of greatness like that, that you see Dick Buckets, that you see Jack Lambert, that you see Mike Singletary, these middle linebackers stuffing a run, this guy in particular, like the greats used to do. On second down, Robinson, and he's brought down for a loss. This coordinator tried to show some trust and belief in his offense. The run after a negative run? Well, you lose a lot of equity and belief in that coordinator. I don't think he's going to try a third run after back-to-back -back negative losses. And the Saints go to the dive package here, third down. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to be dragged down, looks like, at that 37-yard line. How about that play, Brock? find a way to convert. Yeah, these end cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. Well, it looks like the defense got a little too excited there. That's going to be a penalty. It's 
So he jumped too early, and that's going to cost him five yards. Encroachment on that previous play, and that makes this a much shorter first and five. Out of the gun, Cousins. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he pushes this down to the 22-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. Sometimes you're looking to push the ball down the field. But as I've said before, the crumbs lead to a cookie. And you never go broke taking a profit, and those big tight ends will often find you those easy check down yards. From the gun, it's Robinson. Has a big hole left. They get 19, and now they're going to have first and goal. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Here's Robinson. And he drives into a pile of defenders and is stopped right at the line. They don't pick up anything there, and now it's second and goal. Come back to haunt him. It's another second and goal. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. And they will score. It's an Atlanta touchdown. The Falcons cut into the lead, coming out of halftime. Great opportunity to find a touchdown there, Brock. And they come through with six. Receivers want the ball everywhere on the football fields. <laughs> but you start <laughs> yep. smelling the end zone, they really want their chance. And they will tell you as a quarterback, just give me an opportunity and I'll make a play. And he sure did. Coup on now for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Saints and Derek Carr about ready to get back to work. And our team in the truck putting these highlights together, well, they certainly had plenty of touchdowns to choose from for them, actually. Though the way he's been playing, Brock, you cannot count on him being done reaching that end zone just yet. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Working out of the gun, it's caught. Rifles it, and it's on the money on the slant. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. They'll say he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. A play like this, that's exactly where you want to get him the ball, right on the outside where he's got the space and a lot more room to work. 
Kamara now on first and ten. The flag's down as he stops. It looks like this one's on the offense. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. On the shotgun, Carr. They left him wide open. It's complete. And he will score. It's a enormous touchdown. The Saints push their lead further to start the half. Chris Olave with the touchdown. His third through the air this game. And I know that's one of his favorite routes to run, Brock, but that has got to be one of a quarterback's favorite throws to make as well, right? Drop it in over the defender and take the lid off the D for six. Because it is so, so simple. Mm. It's something that these two have done and, and thrown together for years and years. Maybe not to each other, but since Pop Warner, they've been running the goal route. Just run right by him, and if you're even, you're leaving, and I'm going to drop it right over the top. Group B to try the point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Returning it from the four. Oh, he's shown some burst on this return. Field flipping return as he brought it down on the opposite side of the 50. The Falcons and running back B. John Robinson getting set to begin another drive. And they're going to need to play for pride or for something to build on for next week, Brock, because this game seems out of reach, even though we've got a full quarter still to go. Hey, listen, I get it. I'm as guilty as anyone so hyper-focused on offense and defense, often forgetting it's special teams in a play like that that can swing a game. What a great return now to start out on a short field, and you've got to believe all this offense is thinking is let's capitalize and find that end zone. And they get there to take him down it's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 41. Got a man, it's Drake London. And they get this down to the 28. Give him 13 on that play. And the Falcons will have a first. the gun. Cousins. Brought in close to the eight. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's a 23-yard pickup on the play. And that gives them first and goal. Now Cousins again. Continuing to fight at least. No hesitation on that throw. He got the guy he wanted right away, and he got it to him for the touchdown. You know, it's great, Kate, to drop plays and have all sorts of different options, but it's even better when you don't have to get to your second read. His first broke open just like they planned, and that's six in the end. Coup on now for the extra point. one right down the middle and they're a point closer now on the scoreboard To 
kick it away. Here's Pinion. He feels it from the eight. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. Here comes the Saints offense. And all the touchdowns are sure going to catch some eyes around the league. But sure not unexpected for those of us who saw how well he was throwing it back when he got his first couple of scores. Yeah, and if anything, he's only continued to improve and play better as this defense tried and tried and failed and failed to find any way to slow him down. defensive buzzwords. Pursue. Effort. Run him down. Just a total effort defensively to knock that running back right out of bounds and put a negative yardage mark on the stat sheet. So not an enviable spot here as they come up on third and very long. Car here from the gun. He throws a bullet to the center of the field. And they really went for it on third down, didn't they? But the heave now they're facing fourth down. He can't hang on to the pass. And now they're staring at fourth and long. Oh, that's a major missed opportunity right there. Coverage can breathe a little sigh of relief. They dodged a bullet. Time to adjust and get some extra help on the back end to take away those open shots downfield. And he'll haul in this punt. Fair catch made at the 45-yard line. The Falcons and Kirk Cousins headed back out to the field now. We don't get a return out of that punt. And the Falcons will take over. New set of downs for him from the 46. First down throw for Cousins. Hits his man on the out route. They come through with a nice skin of 10 and a first down. The smartest pass catchers I've ever been around, they know how to set up an outcut beautifully. They recognize when they have leverage, how to sell the deep route, and then boom, they just break it out as if it's nothing. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Play action now for Cousins. And this one's dropped for what would have been a nice game. It's second down. Out of the gun, Cousins. Into the hands of Pitts. And they get this down to the 28. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. Gosh, I really like this receiver on that drag route in particular. Why? Because he's a guy that creates after the catch. They don't close quickly. He could take it to the house. To the line we go. They're set first and 10. Now Cousins again. Got a man. Robinson has it. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. That's called the quarterback's best friend, Kate. Gains like that on the screen aren't possible without everyone doing their job. One missed assignment is the difference between a big gain and being dropped for a loss. 
First down from the red zone. The throw is caught. And this is down all the way to the three. That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. The movement up front, and now backs even more against the wall. So tough to stay set when you've got defenders doing everything they can to make you jump, and, well, they got one of them to move that time. So now from further back, another try at first and goal. Running it after the penalty. And they'll make this stop after a small push to the five. It's a gain of three on the final play of quarter three. <laughs> Thankfully, only one quarter to play now. We've reached the end of three in this lopsided affair. It's Falcons football, but here in the fourth, that lead might be too much to overcome. <laughs> second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Once more, it's Robinson. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. It's a gain of two, and now they have third and goal at the three. Out of the gun, Cousins. Coup on now for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Kick it away. Here's Pinion. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Saints and Derek Carr about ready to get back to work. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. They're going to start on the ground with Camaro. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. You know how we hear about teams and quarterbacks avoid targeting a stud quarterback, just throwing away from them? Well, maybe they should avoid running it anywhere near this guy. He's having no issue stopping these plays cold. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Car back to throw. Taken in by Shaheed. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. First down now, ball at the 39 yard line. And off headed right, Camara. Big play, pushes them beyond midfield. And he's finally marked down at the 46-yard line. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run. But I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon. 
who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he can do like we just saw. And he's into the front for a game of about two. Okay, a two-yard run on first down. I think that keeps you ahead of schedule. You're going to have to pick up the pace. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They stay on the ground with Camara. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. This spring, a big game like that, Kate, on the interior. Nine times out of ten, that O-line decisively won their matchup with the big fellas up front. They got those pads down. They created leverage, and they opened up that running lane. Counter give to Camaro. And New Orleans find one yard up the gut. Second down. Drive in some serious trouble. It's third and 12. From the shotgun, Khan. And he goes down. The Falcons got to him. And the defense comes through. And that's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. In theory, Kate, that's exactly what complimentary man coverage is supposed to look like. The DBs, well, they're sticky on the back end of it. The front end, that pass rush, it makes an impact that gets home. But of course we know, it's not that simple. It is really tough to lock down a full field in more than a second or two. Here comes the Saints punting unit. And he's getting the call for the second time this game. And he doesn't put much height or distance on this one. And he sets them back to begin this drive. That kick goes out, and I'd call it about the 12-yard line. Here's the Falcon offense headed out. And all game, they have struggled to attack this deficit. Maybe they can do a little window dressing here. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. It's incomplete. Should have been a catch down field, but off his hands and to the ground it goes. That's one he knows he should have had. And it's going to be second down. Hey, listen, drops happen in football, even from the best at every level. Nothing more to do but shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be right back your way. On second and ten, Cousins again. It's incomplete. Should have been a catch down field, but off his hands and to the ground it goes. Looks like a bit of a concentration drop on that one. So they're left facing third and long. You know, in the NFL, offensive-minded teams will call it a perfect Friday. They don't want the ball to hit the ground once. And especially on these short to intermediate throws, you've got to count on those being efficient and effective. That one's complete to London. And he'll get it up to the 27. He picks up 15 on the play. And the Falcons will have a first. a modest little drag route, but if you ever just need a safe, short gain on the throw, that's a go-to route to target. Second and six coming up here. From 
the 31. Into the hands of Pitts. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Call it seven yards on the play, and that's enough for the first down. New set of downs for him at the 38. On first and ten, it's Cousins. That one gonna go against the deep. So a little too much contact on the part of the defender, and the officials flag him for it. Now Cousins again. Throw wheeled in by London. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. Big game, 14 on the play. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. So second down coming up. Yeah, th this game, you just can't make it harder than it needs to be. Just get the catch first. Guarantee your yards, and then worry about escaping defenders after the catch. Now Cousins again. It's into the hands of Looney. And he's taken down at the 30. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. Working quickly here. First down throw for Cousins. That one's incomplete. Couldn't connect. <laughs> I think I could see his eyes from the booth. He was envisioning the return and simply dropped it. You gotta secure the pick before anything else. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Now Cousins again. That's incomplete for the moment. We do have a flag down, but it might not be good news for their offense. That's usually where we see holding calls. He got a major fistful of jersey on that play, and it's going to end up costing them. Here we go, second and very long. Into the hands of Pitts. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Now Cousins again. say this unless you're committed to going for it on fourth down i just don't see why you throw it there just power it forward for half a yard and reset those chains then take your shots further down the field they'll run it with robinson and he won't salvage that it's a loss on the play and that run won't come close we've got a turnover on down you know kate it's almost like the defense was in the offensive huddle before the play they dialed up the perfect blitz to encircle and cut off that run. And the reward is they get off the field. The Saints and Chris Olave ready to take over once again on offense. They didn't add to their lead last time out. They punched it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They're going to start on the ground with Camara. And he found some running room for a nice game. Call it nine yards. Looks like a first for a moment. It's second and one.
the two-minute warning here from Atlanta. Saints about set to celebrate this win. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. They stay on the ground with Camaro. And finally, they're able to bring him to the ground. That play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. Slated downs to approach here from the 40. First down, and they go right back to him. And he's charged towards the line. It's right around three yards. Hey, not a bad play by any means, but there's room for more, and they know it. Second down now, seven to go. You took down plenty of division rivals in your NFL days. Heck, your conference opponents back in Washington in your college days always makes the win a little bit sweeter when it comes against a rival, doesn't it? Yeah, there's just a little bit more emotion. There just is. Yeah. I mean, you try to keep every game level, and no opponent's bigger than the other, but familiarity does breed a little more contempt, <laughs> and we could feel it today, and that's why that W is a little bit sweeter.